What makes the perfect Minecraft world? Is it the quality and quantity of the builds? Or maybe the effectiveness of the redstone farms gathering resources in that world? Maybe it's the adventures you had and the obstacles that you overcame along the way. It could be all of them, or it could be none of them. You know what, I probably should have started this video with a better answer than that. I like to think of it like planting a tree. You begin with a small seed, a sapling. It doesn't look like much to begin with, but it holds so much potential, and as you nurture it and care for it, it grows into something amazing. Mining for hours in search of diamonds, trying to figure out that weird roof shape, melting your brain trying to get that piston door to work. All of these things we invest our time and effort into are so valuable. It shows that we're capable of hard work and problem solving, and one day, when it's all done, we can look back retrospectively and be incredibly proud of how far that little seed has come. Every single Minecraft world is unique in its own special way, and as we spend time in it, it almost becomes like our own personal journal, our diary. Dear diary, today I grew a massive tree. I planted it in the middle of the farm, and well, it's still there. It's just, it's, it's like, ma it's massive now, it's so big. And well, it looks cool, it looks cool, don't get me wrong, but it's so big now that it's casting this shadow, this, this massive shadow, and now mobs are spawning underneath it, and I'm kind of regretting it. All right, we got a tree. We got a whole tree in our farm. This uh, it doesn't grow any fruit though, or vegetables. Wait, wait, vegetables don't grow on trees, do they? Oh no. It's so big in fact, that it has a windy path that goes all the way up it. It's, uh, it's pretty big as well, you could probably fit a horse up here. In fact, wait, wait, just one second, one second. There she is, moonlight. <laughs> Alright, this could be dangerous, so be careful. See, look, it's perfect. It's just, it's the perfect size. We can go all the way to here. Wow, okay, we've got guests. We've got people staying in the tree. Moonlight, be careful, be very careful. Don't, no, 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 no. Yikes! No, oh, no, 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 no. Come down, come down, come down. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Why did I, why did I get off the horse? Come here, come here, come here. Let's, we're riding down. Not that way. Oh no! <laughs> Moonlight and I only just escaped with our lives, but we did escape no less, so thankfully no more graves were being filled in today. Who said you could stay in my tree? Get out of here. I found him, he's hiding here. I'm just gonna swipe his feet. Ha, ha, oh. One of us is gonna fall off, I know it. It's not gonna be me though. Okay, I think that's all the squatters living in the tree. I need to deal with that. That's, it's still very unsafe up here. It's very dark. In terms of safety, you know, the tree, it still needs a little bit of work. But when it comes to my pets, well, things were about to change. All right, fit check. Moonlight, do you look good in diamond? The answer is yes. But do you look better in gold though? It's, that does look pretty good. That looks amazing. Hmm, seems like Moonlight likes it as well. Let's stick with the gold. The mastermind behind the Fresh Animations Resource Pack, Fresh Alex, has made it in a recent update so that now you can add armor to horses and the texture just follows the animation and it's just amazing. My horses will never be harmed again. I might be completely wrong about this, but I think if I get some wool and we make some brown carpet, this should stop random mobs spawning in the trees and it blends in as well. It's the right color, it's, it's brown. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is not the <laughs> Oh, this is not the place to be when you have hay fever. So why the tree? What's up with this tree? Well, it's no ordinary tree. No, this is this is where the magic is going to happen. And I mean that in a very real kind of way cuz look at this. This is my current enchanting setup. It's not very enchanting. So I thought why not move it somewhere a little bit more magical. That happens sometimes, you know, you grow out of stuff, you change your mind, you get new inspiration. I had this idea to hang the enchanting table set up within a bird cage from inside the tree. But the design I had in mind required a bunch of materials from the nether. Time to make a nether portal. How much obsidian do I have? Only five pieces. No. All right, down we go once again. So I'm going to put it right here at the base of the tree, but do I frame it with dirt first or go straight for obsidian? I think we just commit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go eight. I like big portals. These chickens are making me angry. Two, three, four, five, six. No one is ever going to see this, but I'm still going to do the corner because I believe in it. Oh yeah, now we're talking, now we're talking. That looks so good. I love big portals. Big portals look so sick. Yeah, that's the one. All right, one thing everybody knows how to do is how to light a portal. But do they know how to break it? Wait, why is it not, why is it not breaking? 
Okay, apparently I don't even know how to break it. Oh, there we go. Oh man, they gave me a fright. Church, too loud. Keep it down. This process can be automated if we just put a dispenser there and a dispenser there. Get a couple buttons. One, two. Now we need one to light it and we need one to break it. Put water in there. And if we just press the button, portal is a light. Anything and everything from the underworld can come through this portal right now. We don't want that. So we press this button and the water flows out. We press it again to suck it back in because we don't want water flowing everywhere. And it breaks. And that is now a closed portal. Nothing is coming through. When I'm building a portal to another dimension, I like to make sure that it feels like it's supposed to be there, like it's part of the world. And nothing says I'm ancient like an overgrown, crumbling portal frame. With the portal lit like this at any time, the bees, even moonlight, could just walk through into the nether. And that would make me feel very sad. But with the help of a little bit of automation and magic, I can offer a little donation to the tree fairies and they can just turn the portal right off for me. And when I want to go back to the nether, I just give them a little offering and they turn it right back on. And that makes me very happy indeed. So the plan is to get in and get out as quick as possible. We give the gold donation. Wait, I'm not wearing any gold. <laughs> Nailed it. I think we take the boots. Oh yeah, I like that. Take all my gold. Please be a good spawn, 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 please be a good spawn. It's not bad. It's, okay. It's not bad, but it's not great. I'd arrived in the basalt delta biome, one of the more treacherous biomes in the nether. You know, just to begin with, the terrain is gnarly. It's rocky and jagged, and if that wasn't enough, it's full of lava. There's lava pools everywhere that you can just fall into, and to top it all off, it's swarming with magma cubes. Brilliant. Thankfully for me, I pretty much spawned in the treasure room. I was standing right on top of a whole lot of blackstone, so it didn't really take me that long to get everything I needed and more. This is awesome. I'm getting so much out of this. So I packed up shop, Hop back in the portal, headed home for only about five seconds. Time to close the portal. I don't I don't have any gold. I gotta go back. I gotta get some gold. Uh-oh. Yes, there it is. Found it. <laughs> Gimme. Give Gimme give the gold. Oh. What's that sound? Oh! oh. What did We did what? <laughs> Where did you come from? What are you doing? What are you... Okay. I'd acquired the gold, but it turns out I'm just fantastic at getting myself lost. I, do that? I just ran it. Okay. Running. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Uh oh. Where... Where did I... Where did I come from? I don't know how to get out of here. I think it's there. Uh, uh. <laughs> this is not even the way that I came. Uh oh. I'm lost. Fine. Okay. Finally, we can close the portal now. Okay, here we go. And shut. Thank goodness. Hopefully no bees were harmed in the process. Man, it's peaceful here. That is, this is one peaceful farm. I've never been, I don't think I've really been out here during the night. I wish to sleep, but this is, this is quite something. This place is quite pretty. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna stay here. Mwah. <laughs> Good night, bees. Okay, let's get this enchanting table happening. In a birdcage, in a tree, on a farm, in a world where one man <laughs> takes. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not doing that. You know, well, technically, we are doing this because it is a trailer. This is the Minecraft trailer series, after all. So. Hey, yeah, yeah, who knows? Whatever. The birdcage was finished and it was time to get on to decorating. I started by making a little bridge across out of campfires, slapped the enchanting table right in the middle, of course, surrounded by bookshelves, added a little bit of lighting and my own very unique enchanting supplies dispensary. I've been getting really into this new technique lately called being lazy. So I'm thinking if I, oh no, I did it the wrong way. If I just do that and then that now I don't have a bow what am I? we need some lapis well say no more boom we drop down we got it what about books we got those on tap as well hit that and boom flies all the way over here we pop it in boom boom level 30 enchant protection floor why do I only have five levels that's a that's another problem for another day 
It's getting there. It's looking magical, but it could be more magical. We do candles, but we don't just do candles. We do blue candles. We we'll do a couple up here, I reckon. It's looking pretty cool. Let's light it up. Bing, bing, bing. All right, the sun's gone down. We got that beautiful moonlight coming in. Not the horse, <laughs> the actual moonlight. How does that look? Yo, that looks so cool in the tree there. With the candles floating up. That looks proper magical. Oh yeah. That looks sick. Oh, I love that. We got the twisting fantasy tree. We got the birdcage. We got the enchanting table surrounded by levitating candles. We've even got a crumbling portal to another dimension. Surely this thing is magical enough, right? Wrong. According to the law of cottage core, nothing, and I mean nothing is magical until you add mushrooms. So that's what we gotta do. Uh oh, I forgot to shut the portal. This is the whole reason you shut the portal. Who's this guy? Where is he gone? Hey, you don't belong here. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I set off in search of mushrooms in my trusty little chest boat, only to find myself back at the dark oak forest that I just so often find myself gathering resources from. Thanks to my silk touch axe, it made harvesting the mushrooms super easy. And bam, there we go. Magical mushrooms. The perfect Minecraft world is going to look different for everyone. You know, after all, it's about creative expression and being yourself. What works for you may not work for someone else, but that's what makes it special. There's no rules, no limits. Some like to make farms, others magical mushrooms. As long as you're enjoying yourself, you have the perfect world. As for me, well, I've come a long way, but there's still a long, long way to go. I'll see you all next time. Whoa, post credit scene out of nowhere. <laughs> Bet you didn't see that one coming. Uh, so we're just checking out a time lapse of the tree that was built in this video. Um, I was watching the footage back and just laughing because I say, I made this tree today and now it's really big and it's casting a shadow. Um, obviously, I didn't plant the tree, I built it. Um, <laughs> but the video like has multiple days, so it doesn't really make sense that I just grew up in one day. Anyway, I didn't just build this one tree, I built all the different 12, I think there were maybe 12 growth stages, so it's like sort of, you know, you plant the tree, it grows up, it's raining, it's winter, it's spring. Um, I wanted to try that out, I've never done that animation effect before. Let me know what you think, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video.